10 metres seems a bit too long. If you have a short lead when walking your dog and then let him off in the park, is this what happens? He's off. And he will only come back when he wants. But when you do get them back, what do you do? Do you then tell them off or perhaps even smack them? Eventually, of course, he will come back. Bad boy, come here. I told you not to. You bad boy. You bad boy. You naughty. So if you were a dog, would you come back to that? If you had a partner and they came up to give you a kiss and you gave them a smack in the mouth, where do you think they'd sooner go? They'd sooner run away, wouldn't they? I want to come back where I'm appreciated. Well, this is what you do. This is Ben. First, we attach a long line to his check chain. I then take the other end and walk randomly around the field like this. When I get to the end of the lead, I turn and call Ben with lots of encouragement. If he doesn't come, I give a quick jerk on the lead and then encourage him in a high-pitched voice. And give him lots of cuddles when he gets back. Then I repeat the operation. Very soon he will come back with no jerk, even following you as you move. Don't forget, lots of encouragement, lots of praise. Now, when you know he's going to come back every time, drop your end of the lead. Then shorten the lead every day, so that he drags a shorter and shorter lead around. When you know he will always come back, remove the lead from the chain. But never take the chain off. This is his uniform and he knows he's still under your command. And don't worry what side of you he walks. That's the next lesson. How to make your dog walk to heel.